Hey Design Squad, welcome back. And in this new mini series, by popular request from a few viewers who viewed Axure, a Noob to Master series, comes new mini series on Sketch. And Sketch is a Mac app and it's a super simple app which has a lot of different functionality to it and a lot of different expansive plugins. But the best bit about it is that it's really simple. Now you can download it for free to start off with if you're not sure if you should invest. Uh, I think it's like 70 bucks or so. It's like one of fee and then you have a support for one year and you can renew it or just continue using it. But it's super awesome because it's basically for screen design and UI design and app design. And so you can learn it is quite simply and quite quickly. There are some nuances here and there, which I'm going to cover in this series. But just like my actual series of how to get started and become a pro so you can actually charge people and you have mastered the tool, I'm going to cover it in and out. And so you actually know exactly all the intricacies and all the edge case you can cover. And if you know my actual series, it's not just going to be a typical, oh, this is how you do, how you work with layers. Let's say, oh, this is how you work with symbols. There's going to be some of that for sure. But what I'm going to try to cover more so specific cases. So let's say, how do you design a mobile app? How do you design a button set? How do you design a, an intuitive design system? How do you do that effects? How do you do X with sketch? You know, so it's all about use cases. It's all about functionality, flexibility, adaptability, and just usability of a tool in general and how you can actually adapt it if you haven't done so. Because, you know, not everybody's born with those skills. It's easy to pick up. It's easy to learn from trial and error, but why not to learn together and learn, you know, from other people, from the commenters down below, because there's always some comments, you know, from other edge cases. And so, this starting session is a really quick one just to introduce what sketch is i'm gonna show you it on my screen as you can see when you launch the sketch you have that nice diamond icon and immediately you can create a new document open existing documents i'm gonna open both as you can see i have an existing sketch design on one of the previous design i used for actual i have artboards and so but let me start with a sketch which has nothing on it and I'm going to walk you through really quickly what you can do in it. As you can see, it's super duper simple. It's almost like a keynote design or preview design. There is not much to it. You have pages on the left hand side where you can add new different pages. So let's say this could be your color palette or something like that. This could be your home page. You know, you, you can kind of work like that. And then you can also insert some sort of, let's say, shapes. You can add vectors, you can draw with pencil, text, images, artboards, and artboards is actually where you would start naturally, where you can select a specific device and then start crafting mockups right away using the shapes. So like one by one, maybe this is your header, then you have a property pane on the right hand side where you can pick the color, let's say. But as you can see, you can work with it and you can shape different things and different aspects of it. But let's say maybe this is, this is our thing. And then I'm just going to make a card on top of it like so and just make it white. And again, I'm just jumping through because this is just a simple introduction. So don't es expect too much. And let's say we're going to increase the border radius, let's say. And boom, we have a simple card and simple screen almost ready, right? So just to continue on that, you know, you can also add, let's say data and you can import different data. So let's say sketches, files, let's say faces, boom. I, you know, sketch, the beauty of sketch is that it's expansive. So you can install plugins for, let's say user faces and actual data publishing to Envision, um, emojis, icons, you know, shortcuts, all that jazz sketch is really flexible. So you start with a really simple app, but then it expands and you can, you know, you can take it any direction you wish because it has that capability. And so you have those pages as well. You know, you can create as many pages, you can create as many artboards as well. I'm just copying right now, let's say, use a random unsplash photo. It's downloading boom and you know you can create different pages that way so let's say this is our different cards and then you have your artboards one by one here on the left hand side and let's say this is our first this is our second 
and I'm just mistakenly positioned, it, let's say, and these are two app screens. And as you can see, you have a layer list, you can make them invisible if you wish. Um, you can work on different artboards. When you have too many artboards, you go into different pages. You can minimize it as well. You can filter your, you know, things by type, let's say. So Sketch allows you to do what you, let's say, would do in Adobe XD or Photoshop, but much simpler because it's so straightforward. It's meant to be, you know, from low fidelity prototyping to high fidelity prototyping. It's really up to you how you use it and what you do with it. But just to highlight some other bits, on top you can, again, insert different objects, you can insert some data, you can create a symbol, which I'm gonna cover in different video, but it's basically a component, like a smart object in Photoshop or dynamic panel in Axure. It's kind of works similarly, but there are some nuances here and there. I'm gonna cover that for sure. When you have object backward, forward, you can either use shortcuts or V's click in. You can also customize this touch bar too. I keep it to default. When you have a typical, let's say, editing of a shape, so you can, let's say, edit shape. You can do something of it. You can just edit, let's say, one corner of the radius that way and do some funky design like this, like a drop. Uh, you can also rotate it. You know, it's it's really up to you how you want to use it. Um, you can ma use masks. You can use scale options. You can flatten different it, it, objects. If you work with any shapes or vectors, which Sketch is primary software for, you also can, you know, work with shapes and subtract different objects. I'm gonna show it to you maybe really quickly what I mean by that if you're new to this, but let's say this is our um, object, let's say like so. Let's color it maybe white or so. So I could mask it or I can just subtract it. And now as you can see, the combined shape has that white bit under. And just to demonstrate it really quick, Oh, maybe this is our funky app. And I'm gonna just bring that background down below like this. As you can see, we cut it out of those shape options. And as you can see, we're getting somewhere. If you use all those different bits, you can then progress and do more of Sketch. Uh, then you have zoom options, you have viewing options, you have grid options. It's super duper simple and so easy to just click through and, you know, do things with it. You can also preview your prototype if you want to make it clickable. I'm going to cover it in further sessions, but, you know, you can actually go from page to page, kind of like in vision like prototyping. It's super simple, like a slideshow. It's nothing like actual proto IO or all those different like UX pins. You also have a cloud option. So let's say you can uh, publish your different bits to, let's say to share with a team, you know, on a cloud. So you can always have an access and sketch have different team functionalities coming up, versioning, a simple collaborations and things of that. You're kind of like threatening Figma in a way. So I'm waiting for that. And then it also has the export function. So let's say if you want to export slices, you can do that. But I usually just use, let's say, if this is my screen, I want to export whatever I select. As you can see, I'm going to add the background to it so that it's like one flat and I can just export select it as a like, let's say, as an image, image one. Boom, and then it exports that as I predefined. You can also export it as, let's say, 2x, so double the size, so it's a retina friendly, for example, or you can choose from pre selected options. So it's super duper simple. Now, besides that, the last thing to mention before we wrap up for this first session is the properties panel or the styling panel, whatever you want to call it. So let's say whatever object you select, you can modify it here. Let's say we have this our image with a hole, which I punched. So let's say maybe let's do it like this so you can actually see that there is an image with a hole. Let's decide something like this, let's say. So it's quite funky. And then I can do a lot with it. I can, you know, modify. I can flip the image if I want to different ways. I can round the corners again maybe do something with it as you can see it's, you can do like you can create like a simple app if you wish you know then you have resizing options which i'm gonna show it to you in a little bit if i let's say pin it to one of the edges and i resize our thing you're gonna see that it actually resize the object 
like so, so you can kind of design it responsively. There are different nuances and I'm going to cover it in a little bit in other sessions, of course, but you can see there is a lot of to do. You can have prototyping options as well. So you can say, if I click on that, take me there. And if I preview, click on it, boom, it takes you there. Simple as that, you know, it's really easy to do. And that's the best bit about Sketch for me at least. Let me bin that options and go deeper next session. You know, wait for it, be patient. We can work with opacity as well. We can do fills. So it could be color fill, gradient fill, image fill. I, I'm using image fill right now. You can have multiple of them. So you can have, let's say, an overlay like so. You see how funky that is? It's awesome. You can add borders, round borders, shadows, inner shadow blurs, you name it. You know, and this is just a basic functionality you get with Sketch when you install it. And so try it out, try the free trial if you haven't done yet. If you are proficient with Sketch, just stay tuned because we are gonna dive into deeper details as well. So I hope you find this useful. Subscribe to this playlist, to this channel, give it a like and stay tuned for more because it's coming up. See you next time.